Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we focus on metals, mining, and more. I'm your host, Maurice Jackson. Today, we will discuss a company that is expanding and discovering heap leach gold deposits in Nevada. I'm speaking of Northern Empire Resource Corp, trading on the TSXV symbol NM and on the OTC symbol PSPGF. Joining us today is Michael Allen. He is the president. CEO and Director of Northern Empire Resource Corp. Mr. Allen, welcome to the show, sir. Thanks for having me on again, Maurice. Mr. Allen, for someone new to the story, please share who is Northern Empire and what is the thesis you're attempting to prove? I guess the best way to, to describe Northern Northern Empire is a, is a, it's a group of, of uh, businessmen that happen to, to specialize in the, in the mining industry. If you if you look at our, our board, uh, we've got a, a very uh, adept uh, group that has created a lot of, of shareholder uh, value. Uh, that would be things like founding International Royalties, which was sold for seven hundred million dollars. Uh, the Kamenak founder is on, on the board, which is sold for five hundred and twenty million dollars, and also the uh, the most recent uh, transaction on, on the board is, is New Market, which was uh, sold to Kirkland Lake Gold for a billion. So it's it's businessmen that that specialize in in mining. Uh, the thesis for, for Northern Empire is that um, we've assembled a district scale land package in the, uh, the southern part of Nevada in something called the, uh, the Walker Lane. Uh, it's about two hours uh, northwest of, of Las Vegas and there, the property uh, has four deposits on, on it and we feel that we can expand all four of, of those deposits through, through exploration and, and drilling the, uh, the extensions off. But also the the uh, the real upside is discovering new deposits that are amenable to heap leach uh, processing uh, in the state of Nevada on our property. Michael, let's switch screens for our listeners and talk about your latest press release entitled "Northern Empire Provides Regional Update and Identifies Several New Exploration Targets." What are some of the key points from this press release that really have your attention? Yeah, I mean what. What this press release is, it's the culmination of a lot of work that has been done uh, by the exploration team on the on the project. Uh, what is what we've been able to identify is the the key controls to the mineralization, particularly on the on the crown part of the of the project, which is in the northern part. Uh, what we have identified is seven uh, new exploration targets. Uh, and they're just classified from, from uh, more or less from, from west to east in the, the list that's on the uh, on the uh, the news release. The the road zone is just to the to the north of the Daisy deposit. And what we like about about that is that and the Gold Ace Fault target is that they are shallow mineralization uh, around a known deposit. So we think that there is a potential there for adding ounces that are that are immediately mineable. Uh, given a, given a, the proper study and, and drilling off the, the resources, and that's what the focus has been for both the the, the road zone and the gold ace fault. It's immediately uh, adjacent to the Daisy series of, of deposits, and we think that there that there is a a, a potential for expanding that deposit. Carl extension is uh, is where we get into the real um, nitty gritty of the the uh, of what we've been been doing on on the project. The Crowell uh, was a historic mine and actually there was a geologist that went down in it recent, recently, not by our, our guys, um, but uh, and he sampled the rib and got uh, 0.2 ounces per ton, 7 grams. Where this this mine is is actually at the hinge of a very large scale antiform, uh, a big fold structure that points off to the northeast and this this uh, antiform, the, the hinge would be where it is most permissive for fluids to, to get through and mineralize. And the very high grade samples that were collected there historically, uh, seven grams, indicate that potential. It starts to, to create a story of us being able to link up the, uh, the deposits there. Uh, further to the east, we get into the, to the radio tower and secret pass east 
Radio Tower is the updip extension of, of the secret pass deposit, and there's some really interesting geochemistry there that suggests that, that there is a, a target at depth. Uh, secret pass east is where the Floorspar Canyon detachment fault comes to comes to surface. That's a key driver of, of mineralization on the on the property, and we've got a, a large area that hasn't been uh, effectively explored in the in the past. And we've got surface samples up to five grams per ton at, at surface. And it's a big target at 1,200 meters long. So that's a, a lot of ground and a lot of potential for, for more ounces. Number six and number, number seven are more, uh, what I would say, generative targets. The, the Ronco Jasperoids are something that, that, we've, uh, that we've been looking at and, and we discovered. And it was simply a, 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 a boot leather mapping and, and sampling exercise where uh, a gentleman went out, one of our geologists went out and, and started mapping out crops. And it's a significant system. It's 500 meters long, up to two grams per ton at surface, and there's no drilling out there. Uh, also, the, the, the range front fault zone uh, is, is very interesting because this is where you get truly long ball potential. If you look at some of the, the, the bigger deposits uh, in the state of Nevada, particularly the Carlin ones, they exist at these range front faults where you've got structures intersecting favorable host rocks. We've identified the, these, uh, these structures through our mapping and through our, our geophysics, and then the favorable host rock is also there. And this is something that, that we've been looking at and, uh, and are eager to get our team more on, onto the ground and, uh, and get them exploring it, because that is truly game changer type, uh, type geology out there. Northern Empire's technical team has over 80 years experience in Nevada and you've stated that the Sterling Gold Project resembles a Carlin type of mineralization. That's a pretty significant comment from you for current and prospective shareholders to consider. Yeah, and, and I mean, it, it's not something that, that we say uh, say flippantly. I mean, we've got guys that are on the ground that are, are 30 year Nevada, Nevada geos and they know what they're looking at and they that's what gets them out of bed in the morning is they see the the potential for a truly significant Carlin type uh, discovery and, and the, the significant thing for for shareholders uh, that need to understand you know, the non-technical people is the Carlin type uh, deposits in the state of Nevada are the truly big ones these are the these are the company makers and are, are the backbone for the big companies like Barrick Newmont and uh, and Kinross uh, operating in, in the state of Nevada they have the potential to be the you know the five ten million ounce multi year hundred thousand ounce a year to two hundred thousand ounce a year production profiles that really make companies. That's what excites us about the property is that that potential for those big uh, big new discoveries. In closing, Mr. Allen, multi layered question here for you: What is the next unanswered question for Northern Empire? When should we expect results, and what will determine? success? I guess the, the unanswered question is, is uh, can, you know, how big can we, can we make this? Um, you know, we've got four deposits on, on the property already. Uh, obviously, the permitted sterling mine, uh, Daisy, Secret Pass, SNA. Uh, those four deposits, how big can we make those? There's also the, the, the wild card of, of this is, you know, can we make that, that new discovery? Uh, and given the, the evidence that we're starting to see coming in from the field, you can get a sense of confidence that, the, that the, a new discovery is, is potential or uh, is possible on, on this project. Um, yeah, I guess the, the multi-layered question is, is and then the, the next part of your, your question was, when can we expect to, to see results? I mean, we are actively drilling on, on the site right now. Uh, we do have, uh, have three rigs going, and they're moving around to all the different deposits and, and the exploration targets. So there is news flow that's going to be coming out pretty much constantly over the over the next several uh, several months as we advance the the project. And what will determine success? Uh, I think ultimately success is is, uh, is um, that new discovery. I think that 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 is the, going to be the key. Uh, key part of, of success for the company. What is the worst case scenario if we don't get a favorable outcome? What is plan B? You know, I love this question um, because this is, this is actually speaks to the, to the strength of, of the board and, uh, and the, the team at, at Northern Empire. Um, when 
myself and the board were designing Northern and, and what we wanted to, to do with it. It wasn't uh, that we were going to buy, you know, essentially take our shareholder money and buy lottery tickets. We were we were making up a, a business plan as to what we want to do with the company, and that's actually one of the reasons why we got the the Sterling asset, because um, there is a backstop uh, of shareholder value there. The permitted Sterling mine is a is a key part uh, of the of the company. Uh, we don't talk a, a lot about it, but it does put an underlying base value into the company. If we do not have any additional exploration success, we do have a fundamental core business that we can take the company and build off going forward. And that is the permitted Sterling mine, which is a high grade open pit heat bleach project in the state of Nevada. And we think that that substantially de-risks the company for the investor. So in terms of, of the design of the company and going forward, there's a lot of upside, but there's not a lot of downside for, for the investor right now. Mr. Allen, we've covered the good. What keeps you up at night that we don't know about? I think that, that for, for me, uh, as, the, as the CEO of, of Northern Empire, the, the thing that keeps me up at night is, that, is the, the responsibility for the people on site. Um, we've got about 25 to 30 people actively working on, on the project right now. We've got drillers going, we've got geologists out in the field, we've got people moving around in trucks. And for me, safety is, is the number one thing for, for us to, to be considered, to consider in terms of what keeps me up at night. I don't ever want to have to, to face uh, a situation where somebody got hurt. And that, that, um, safety culture comes from from me down um, and that's you know we we talk about safety on a daily basis we manage risks as, as best we can but there are a lot of moving parts and that is for me the thing that keeps me up at, at night is is I don't want any to see any of the people on our project get hurt I and mean, that is that's my nightmare scenario you know and I can uh, reemphasize those ethos there we were there at the earlier site visit this month and first thing was safety first safety first and safety first I think that, that one of the things that uh, that I'd like to emphasize with uh, with the company is that it, it is something that we did put a lot of thought to in terms of, of designing and de-risking um, my job is to is to de-risk uh, the company so when we bought the asset we have that backstop of value with great exploration upside, the 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 risks or the technical risks because these are past producing and modern assets were were uh, were eliminated. So I think that the that uh, the, that'd probably be the the questions that that haven't been answered by you or asked by you, Michael. For someone listening that wants to get more information regarding Northern Empire, please share the contact details. Uh, website is. Uh, www.northernemp.com. Uh, uh, there are links in, in the, the website to, uh, to contact us, and, uh, and it's myself or, or uh, Dylan Berg as our manager of IR. As a reminder, Northern Empire trades on the TSXV symbol NM and on the OTC symbol PSPGF. For direct inquiries, please contact Dylan Berg. His phone number is 604-646-45. 22. That number again is 604-646-4522. And email is info at northernimp.com. And last but not least, please visit our website, www.provenimprobable.com, where we interview the most respected names in the natural resource space. You may reach us at contact at provenimprobable.com. And as a reminder for our listeners, Northern Empire is a sponsor of Proven Improbable and, and that we are proud shareholders of Northern Empire for the virtues we conveyed in today's message. Michael Allen of Northern Empire Resource Corp., thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. Thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. Remember to like and subscribe for more conversations with the most respected names in the natural resource space. Check out our website at www.provenandprobable.com. The information presented on Proven and Probable 
is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.